guys and girls i am back after the the last episode about two days after the um punk rock a to z j series episode of rebel songs i got sick with some kind of super fucking cold not exactly a flu but i became the world's biggest snot factory uh post nasal drip was insane I couldn't sleep at night I just felt like shit uh, burning up a little bit of a fever you know that fucking gross feeling in your mouth and my ears were popping everything was just stuffed up so uh, the last thing I wanted to do was talk so I rested up and still hanging in here like I got some fucking 
that's not right in the back of my throat right now as we speak. I can't fucking seem to kick this. So what I did, <coughs> I had been doing was taking some cough syrup, uh, some Tylenol cold, and Neocitrin all at the same time right before bed. And it was probably some of the best fucking dreams I ever had. I don't recommend doing that though. I don't re recommend it. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, so I will be back uh, with an increase of episodes for you guys because uh, I do apologize for being late on this one. And from now on, unless something drastic as super cold happens, there will be an episode once a week or maybe twice a week. <clears throat> so, uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I gotta catch up on a fucking ton of shit. I haven't even logged into my Instagram or my Facebook or anything. My emails, nothing. So, I will be catching up on all that stuff today. Um, so tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Unfortunately, I don't have the day off work because I couldn't get it off. Someone else took it off. And I usually do. I take the Tuesday, well, I'll take the, Tuesday is St. Patrick's Day and... I would take that Wednesday off too because I would be so hungover I wouldn't be able to go to work. But uh, this year I'm going to take it easy. So I don't know. We'll see. I always say I'm going to take it easy then things get fucking absolutely crazy. So anyways, that first fucking track you heard was uh, a fucking song that I love. That's the fucking Pie Tasters with I Can't Stand It. And if you haven't figured it out already, this is Rebel Songs Podcast, episode 102. I'm your host, Mandy, and that, uh... Ah, that right there was some good fucking ska. Why don't we just hop right back into some more music? I've got this new album called Rise Again from Australia's own Razor Cut. I've played them before, and I'm pretty sure I've said how much I fucking love them. So check out the new motherfucking Razor Cut on Rebellion Records. You know, sometimes when I listen to a really good fucking record or a song, I just get super pumped up, like my skin gets all prickly, and I have to like hold myself back from doing like a fist pump in like someone's face, you know what I mean? Most of the time I'm at work when I'm listening to music. Um, so that is what this Razor Cut album does to me. Actually, the whole fucking set coming up, does that to me. I get fucking crazy. And I hope some of you, uh, when you hear this shit on the podcast, do the same. Like, I, I hope it makes you feel the same way that I do. I think that is my goal, to make you guys feel the same way. Like, when you fucking just hear a really badass song and you just go fucking, oh man, that's so fucking good. You, you know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. I'm sure most of you do. So anyway, uh, three songs from Razor Cut. And then two songs from Bobby Hollywood and the Quitters. Fight my whole way 
Okay, those three razor cut tracks were Razor Cut, Fighting Spirit, and Who Are You, the Bobby um, Hollywood and the Quitters songs are Fix Me Up and May 21st. Of course, links to everything on rebelsongspodcast.com. Remember, I told you guys every Sunday around noon, we do a cheesy 80s horror slasher junk food eating binge. And last week was <coughs> or actually two weeks ago because I was sick. I had to skip that week. Or maybe it was three weeks ago now. Fuck, I don't even know. My time's all off. We watched one of my favorites called Motel Hell, which I recommend to everybody. I always find cannibalism really gross. It really grosses me out in a way nothing else can. So if you uh, if you like cannibalism, check Motel Hell out. And you remember in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 when the uncle wins the, uh, the chili competition? And well, obviously there's some human meat in it. And he pours it into the top cup on his trophy. That is so fucking gross. Anyway, Motel Hell worth a check out. We also watched Bloody Birthday. I'm not sure if I talked about that one yet. That that one was pretty good. But there's one thing I don't get about horror movies like with kids in them. I've never done this, but I'm pretty sure 10 year olds aren't hard to beat up. And I understand when they get all sneaky and attack you when you're not ready. But the kids in this movie wouldn't have stood a chance against me. Yeah!
Okay, those first three tracks were from a TNS Records free compilation that you can get on the fucking Bandcamp. So go grab that shit and check them out. I'll obviously have a link on rebelsongspodcast.com. And the last two songs were from a band called Blacklisted on Death Wish Records. You've probably heard of them. The songs were called Burnt Palms and When People Grow, People Go. So what do you guys think about buying some Rebel Songs buttons? Some of you call them pins, some, some call them buttons. I'm in the process of figuring out how I'm going to sell these. Postage sometimes is an asshole. And I don't want the postage to cost more than the actual pin. So I'm trying to figure this out. I might do this like a donation type of thing where you pay a couple dollars, you're gonna get the pin. We'll call it a donation just just so you don't feel ripped off. <coughs> kinda like how PBS does that shit because um, I kinda wanna upgrade some of the shit that's kinda falling apart here. My microphone, sometimes it works and sometimes it fucking doesn't. So, and I, I, I would like to get some more equipment. I would like to have other people on the show and not use just one microphone. Or possibly, I have been getting emails from labels about interviewing bands and stuff. <sighs> I've never done that before. It sounds interesting. But I just, I don't have the means and the equipment to do that right now. So whatever, if I make a couple dollars off the pins, uh, that's exactly what it's going to go for. It's going to go to the um, upgrading equipment and stuff for this. Because Rebel Songs right now is my main focus. Also, I will be making Rebel Songs podcast tank tops soon. They're going to be as cheap as I can possibly make them. Uh, I will make zero profit from these zero nothing. I won't see a fucking dime. I just want everyone to have one. So save up your motherfucking dollars so you can grab them when they come up, uh, which will be in a couple weeks. So don't get stuck without one. And when the sun, sun starts shining and the fucking weather starts getting hot, don't get a fucking farmer's tan with a fucking t-shirt. You want a fucking tank top. So, and also, you want to take everyone to your motherfucking gun show. Trash!
the shout. Yeah. 
Right, that first track you heard. <laughs> Little too enthusiastic, right there. That first track was Kill Refrigerator with Shower Thrashing Death. They are an independent band, and uh, they don't know I'm playing their shit. But maybe I'll tell them. Um, check them out. I thought that album was kind of cool. So, let's see what else are we play. Rumble Club with Lindsay's Gonna Drive and two songs from Six Six Sinners, Six Feet Underground, and Same Breed. RebelSongsPodcast.com for all your links to the fabulous music and movies that I talk about. And playlist and contact form is also up there. If you don't like contact forms just because you're a major snob, the email is info at RebelSongsPodcast.com. That was a joke, by the way. Don't get your fucking panties all twisted. Hit me up about anything you would like. Music, movies, 80s slashers fucking recommendations oh you hear that little asshole barking in the background I'm I'm currently dog sitting uh, any recommendations for anything they're always welcome and uh, you guys know the growing up not growing old podcast I talk about that quite often uh, while well, Mike has a brother that is in this awesome hardcore band and I'm going to play some of their stuff off their demo and it's gonna fucking kill um, so that's the next episode. So I will be around very soon if you miss me. And go listen to old episodes and don't forget the iTunes ratings and reviews. Those are very, very, very fucking important. I can't stress that enough. Um, that shit is super important to grow the podcast. And that is something that uh, you guys have the power to do. And I rely on you, all of you, to do that. Thank you, and thanks for listening, and I apologize again for getting sick and uh, not putting an episode out. (laughs)